Fake news, biased reporting, and untruths are part of our information landscape. Sometimes it is easy to spot something that is untrue, but other times it's hard to tell the difference between what is real and what is fake. Some websites confuse even the most expert researchers, like historians or college professors. But there is one group of researchers called fact-checkers that rarely get fooled. These are the folks that make sure that what gets published is true and accurate. So what do fact-checkers do to check the credibility of what they see online? Well, they have a few tricks up their sleeve. One thing they don't do is spend a lot of time closely reading the source they are evaluating. That's right, they don't spend all that much time reading an article from a website without knowing if the site can be trusted. They don't spend time looking at the About Us section, or looking for a list of references, or even checking the author's credentials. Instead, they research what others have written about the site, the organization, or the author. They know that what others say about an organization is often more reliable than what the organization says about itself. When they do this research, they may use several different websites to find information about a publication. This is called lateral reading. But how does the fact checker know if what others are saying about a site is credible? They consider three important criteria process, expertise, and aim. Let's look first at process. Fact checkers know that reliable sources have a process for checking facts. Well-respected newspapers like the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal employ fact checkers who ensure that reporters get their facts right and correct any mistakes in previous issues. Scholarly journals don't have fact checkers, but they do have a group of scholars that read, evaluate, and decide if something should be published. So if you come across something from a respected newspaper or a well-known academic journal, you can be fairly certain that what you are reading is accurate. Second, fact checkers check for expertise. They know that who is deemed an expert depends on the context. A medical doctor is an expert in medical treatments, while an English professor is likely an expert in Shakespeare. And fact checkers know that not all experts are PhDs or MDs. A football coach could be an expert in sports injuries, or a food blogger could be an expert in the best restaurants in a particular city. Lastly, fact checkers know that all publications have specific aims, and these can vary greatly from one publication to another. For example, a tabloid like the National Enquirer aims to entertain and make money. The more salacious news they publish, the more money they make. Contrast this to a website like Politico, Yes, they have a business model, but their main aim is to report American politics. So when you come across a website, consider its aim and how it relates to their reliability. For example, if you come across an article on drug addiction, consider the source and their aim. Is that article published by a recovery center that is aimed at enrolling patients in their recovery program? Or is the article published in a medical journal reporting on a new experimental treatment for addiction? So next time you come across an article and you're not sure whether or not it is credible, don't spend a lot of time looking at that website. Instead, find out what others are saying about the organization that published the article. And when looking at any resource, think about the process that that resource uses to check for facts. Also, take a look at the expertise of the author for that particular topic. And lastly, analyze the aim of the resource. Is it trying to sell you something, inform you, or maybe entertain you. This video was based on the work of the Stanford History Education Group and the book Web Literacy for Student Fact Checkers by Mike Caulfield.